Well, despite failing to pass the Senate, North Carolina Democrats say they still want to find a way to make changes to federal voting laws before this year's election. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland has a look at the impact and what led Senator Tom Tillis to talk about resigning from the Senate. Democrats' push to change voting laws ahead of this year's election failed, but on Thursday, Congressman David Price told me that push may not be over. We're going to find a way forward. I just promise you that. The bill that failed to pass the Senate includes provisions that have been controversial in North Carolina. Mail-in ballots would still count if they're postmarked by Election Day and arrive within seven days. Republicans here have pushed to make Election Day the deadline. It would also ban partisan gerrymandering and weaken voter ID laws. A law to require voter ID here has been on hold amid legal challenges. The reason that we're uh, in uh, the situation we're in, of course, is that not a single Republican is, uh, is supporting voting rights. We need to make it harder to cheat and easier to vote. Republican Senator Tom Tillis joined others in his party in voting against the changes. Two Democrats also refused to change the rules on the filibuster to pass the bill on their own. And incidentally, the day that Republicans changed the rules for the filibuster is the day I resigned from the Senate. Tillis said he supports changes to the Electoral Count Act to make it harder to object to the results, citing what happened January 6th of last year. We're going to push ahead on, on voting rights. But it's unclear what, if anything, can get through with the election just months away. Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.